All right, y'all, welcome back to Combat Arms Channel. Okay, so today we are checking out this French ration. Now, this is the French Individual Reheatable Combat Ration. Again, if you guys don't know, I got this sent to me from MRE Mountain. So again, huge thank you. I'm gonna put their website down in the video description so you guys can go check them out. They sell a bunch of awesome individual rations from all these different countries, really cool stuff, and I've actually ordered from them previously. So I highly recommend them if you guys are trying to get some hard to find foreign rations. But we got this one and then three other rations. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing a video for all the other rations, because two of them are like emergency rations and then the other one is like a normal ration like this. So I'll probably do a video for another one of those or I might just check out specific items that you guys want me to check out. But yeah, today we're doing a video dedicated to this bad boy right here. So let's get it open. So we have this box. Again, I dumped everything out before, so it's not gonna be nice and neat. Ooh, very heavy. Bruh. So we have this fromage fondue. Again, I'm pretty sure that's cheese in a very high quality can. Again, you don't really see stuff from US rations in cans like this, so it's also really cool to get stuff like that. We have some tissues. I'll try and create as much space as possible. We have this soup. We have some coffee and then also some like hot chocolate, some instant chocolate. So it's pretty neat. We don't really, we have hot chocolate in the US ration and I just stay away from that because not a huge fan. We have these sardines that, oh, that's gonna be rough. I, I just have a feeling that's gonna be very rough, but of course we have to try it out because you know that's what makes an entertaining video, you know? We have this stove. So we have this heating kit, cool. We have this drink mix, throw that over here. We have this mixed muesli, which is like an energy breakfast. So that's pretty cool. Huge fan of muesli and, and oatmeal and all that good stuff. Everything in between. We have these these Barre Commando Cafe Bars. We have this um, strawberry jam or this strawberry spread. So we'll put that over here. We have some chocolate, 72% cocoa. Awesome. Can never have too much chocolate. We have some fruit bars. We have bar Barre Energy. So this looks like a peach or peach apricot bar. So another kind of fruit bar there. We have this, ooh, pate, pate de fruits. So yeah, maybe like another apricot bar, another fruit bar there. So a lot of fruit. So this seems like a relatively balanced meal because we got some of the, the grain with the muesli. We also have some protein with that. We have a mixed drink so we can get some electrolytes. We have some sugar. Uh, we have some energy with this, this Barre Commando. And then we have plenty of fruit. We have some more protein. We have some sodium with the soup. So pretty good little balanced meal here. And then we have this stuff. So this is uh, Thon Latte de Coco. Don't know what that is. So Ris Basmati. I don't know if you guys can sort of see that. It's like, looks like it's rice and tuna. And then we have this, uh, it looks like like quinoa and tomatoes or something. I'm not sure what this is either, but yeah, that's pretty much it right there. So pretty different from what we'd seen with other rations, very different from the Estonian ration that we did, uh, very different from US rations, especially. It's a little bit more balanced and a little bit less heavy than you would see in a lot of US rations. But yeah, I'm excited to check this stuff out. So um, I do have a spoon, cause it didn't come with one, which kind of sucks, but we have a spoon. I like having a collection of all the sporks and all the stuff that I get from the other rations, but it is what it is. I'm guessing they have like, I'm guessing they get issued a certain like meal set or utensil set. So yeah, let's try certain things out. Let's try some easier stuff. So let's try this Barre Commando. Now it is kind of late right now, but I'm totally fine with getting a little bit of a caffeine rush. So I'll bring the camera in a little bit closer so you guys can see everything a little bit better. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. This is our spread so far. Okay, so let's try out this Barre Commando. So looking at the ingredients, we have sugar, uh, glucose, protein, a bunch of stuff. So basically super artificial, which what can you expect? It is a ration. So, ooh, it kind of looks like it's gotten off or something, but it's like, it smells like a bitter chocolate and you can see it's very white, so. I don't know, it looks, it feels very dense too, so I'll try and take a little bit of a bite, but 
I don't think this is going to be too great. <laughs> it does look spoiled too. Mm. I mean, it kind of tastes like it's, it's not, it's not spoiled. I can tell that right now. It's not spoiled. It's just weird. So yeah, very sugary. It's kind of just like a very sugary chocolate, but you also start to feel like the, the chemical taste. It's almost making my tongue a little bit numb. Yeah, it just tastes like a very sugary chocolate bar. But yeah, it is, I guess this is like where you'd go for your caffeine and your energy. So it's not too bad for what it is, but I'm really excited about this. So I'm a huge fan of like dark chocolate, like 85% and up, but this is 72%. So that's pretty good, pretty good uh, ratio. So cocoa, sugar, at least cocoa is the first ingredient as opposed to like sugar. So yeah, let's check this chocolate bar out. So looks very good oh and it smells really good too it smells like a really good dark chocolate but yeah that's that's that right there so i'm excited for this one let's try it out very good not quite as dark as i'm i'm used to and at the same time it's also kind of thick so it's kind of hard to bite but yeah, really good. Chocolate, especially dark chocolate, is a great way to get some caffeine as well. You're not gonna get so much, but it's enough to give you a little bit of an energy boost, so that was really good. A lot better than the, the Barre Commando. Okay, let's move on to these fruit bars. So we have this peach apricot energy bar. Uh-oh, energy bar. <laughs> it just, everything's going to remind me of that Barre Commando when we're talking about energy bars now. So that's that's it. It smells very fruity, but also kind of artificial. But yeah, it's just like a kind of, it's not too dense. It's like somewhat malleable, but yeah, it's like a little fruit bar. So let's try this out. Mmm. Broke pretty easily. Takes a while for the flavor to hit, but it's pretty good. It's actually not as artificial as I thought it would taste. Yeah, that's pretty smooth. I, I would like that. I would like to eat that a lot more than a lot of the stuff I see in a lot of US rations, especially some of the fruit stuff that you see in US rations. Like we have a pouch of like mixed fruit, which is generally okay, but some of the other stuff is just completely loaded out with sugar or it's just really, really dense and it's like impossible to eat and it just destroys your jaw. Like if you guys think I have a pretty good jawline, it's probably just from eating all the really hard energy bars that you see in US rations. So let's check out this one. This is pate de fruit. That one was good, huge fan of that one. Very, very refreshing. This one is, yeah, it just looks like more peach. I don't know if the French have a lot of peaches or peach trees over in their country. Ooh, but this one is like, it's almost like coated with like sugar. But yeah, this one is like, sort of just like a, a jelly formed and pressed into a bar. So pretty different from that one. So let's try it out. Yeah, very squishy, but very, very good. Honestly, peach is a really like safe thing to do when you're talking about like fruit bars or anything like that. Peach is a really nice one that translates well into like fruit bars and, and, and whatnot. A lot of times if you try anything else, like strawberry especially, it tastes very artificial, but peach is a good one to go with. This was really good. Mm. Yeah, main ingredient is fruit and then Apricot puree and then sugar and that that actually tastes very accurate because it's very refreshing It tastes like the main ingredient is fruit. Okay. This next one is it looks like nougat Nougat off fruits. So maybe nougat with like fruit inside Primary ingredient is sugar. So there is that uh, but we got apricots raisins cranberries more sugar um, So yeah, huh? let's try it out. Let's open it up and see what it looks like primarily because I can really put you off if it looks kind of weird. Like that Barre Commando. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> it smells like, it smells and looks like if you took Elmer's glue and tried making it edible. This looks like it was really trying to be edible. <clears throat> I need to keep smelling it. It's really weird, but okay. Well, let's try it out before I just lose my appetite for this. Okay, so 
It's kind of like that really old Halloween candy. It's not gonna apply if you guys don't celebrate Halloween. It's like if you get that really old like Halloween taffy or something just at the bottom of the bag and then you try eating it. Really dry at first, but then it starts to get a little bit better. And then they just put fruit inside. So it's kind of good, but at the same time, just kind of weird. But I mean, if, if I had this in a ration, I would like it because I could just throw it in my pocket and then snack on it and it would be half decent. Again, still way better than stuff you'd see in US rations. Okay, I kind of want to try this stove out, but I, I'm guessing I need like some pretty good air ventilation if I'm going to be doing stuff like this. Ooh, serious eye irritation. Toxic to aquatic life. Don't throw this sucker in the ocean. Um, yeah, flammable. Allergic reaction. Keep away from children. Avoid breathing the dust. Wear protective gloves. What? What do they think people are doing with this? Okay, we'll try and use this later on for the soup. I think the rest of the stuff we can try without heating it up. So let's try this. Let's try the um, the Thon Latte de, de Coco. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing any of this stuff accurate, but yeah. So it has fillets of albacore. So I'm guessing that's, yeah, tuna, um, something, cream de coco, maltodextrin, some cream. Okay, so it sounds pretty decent. Again, I do like tuna. A lot of mercury, but I'm a I'm a pretty decent fan of tuna. Ooh, <clears throat> very very strong smell. It smells really good though. All right, so let's take this off without making a mess here. I made a mess. All right, so it is what it is. I'll put that there. I mean, yeah, cans are cool, but they're kind of a pain in the butt. So yeah, let's. If you guys can hear that, it's pretty solid when you try and penetrate the top like that. <laughs> so let's just get a good, I'm glad I got a metal spoon or else I might be breaking it. So, okay. Yeah, this definitely needs to get heated up and I'm not doing that. <sighs> but I mean, I mean, it's, it's tuna, so it's still good to eat, right? So let's try it out. Mmm. Yeah, it's got some pretty good spices to it. It would definitely be better hot, but it's actually really, really good cold. I've only made a little dent in it, so there's actually a lot. And again, you guys heard it, it's pretty dense. So there's actually a lot in here. This would definitely fill you up, especially with the tuna. Tuna is an awesome source of protein as well. So that is awesome. I'm gonna have to try and seal this up or do something so I can save it for later. Cause yeah, again, this is something that I would actually bring camping for myself. and. You know, when you can say that for a ration item, that actually means a lot. So, okay, let's move on to this. So this is tabule vol volaye. Yeah, not sure what that is, but we have, um, yeah, so we got some tomato. We got some vian viande de polette. I don't know, let's just open it and try it. I'm sorry, I'm not French. I'm trying to translate it from what Spanish I know. It's not working out so well. Oh gosh, good grief. Okay, all right. Ooh, okay, well that was a little bit less messy, but look at this. This side looks a lot different, a lot more different from the bottom. I'm just smelling a lot of onion and tomato, and I'm not really sure what else, but yeah, still very solid. Okay, I'm guessing you just need to heat these up and they'll be a little bit better. So it looks like there's some some chicken or some fish in here. Okay, so that's pretty good. Get some more protein. So I'm just gonna get some of the tomato, some of the tomato, and then also some of this meat and see how that is. So let's try that. Mm. Yeah, this tastes like, in the US ration, we have something called uh, spicy penne pasta. So it kind of tastes like that with also like, uh, with like chicken and whatnot. So really not so bad, honestly. A strong flavor of tomato, which I'm a huge fan of, because I, I just love like tomato sauce and pasta and pizza. So I do like that. Yeah, but that does appear to be chicken. So honestly, really good. Not something I would buy personally and bring. I would definitely bring that that tuna especially, but not so much that. Not bad, but it definitely just tastes like a ration item. And it, it just, I don't know, whenever you have ration stuff that's been sitting around and it's supposed to be shelf stable, it has a certain flavor sometimes. I mean, they're able to bypass it in some of the rations we saw, like the Norwegian ration. That was really solid, did a pretty good job with that, and the Swedish rations. So those do a pretty good job, but yeah, okay. 
I think it's time. I think it is time to check out these sardines. Oh man, I don't know though. This looks pretty brutal. All right, let's let's crack it open. Hopefully it's not like that weird Swedish stuff where like once you crack it open, it just makes the room stink. Okay, we broke the seal. Oh gosh, there's like olive oil moving around already. That looks disgusting. Oh, pushing the olive oil out. Oh, okay. Oh, this is not what I expected at all. It smells like fish and olive oil. Okay. So normally when I think of like sardines, I picture like the whole fish, just like little fish. People just eat the entire head and the tail and whatnot. But yeah, this is literally just like small, like fillets almost. Definitely very slimy. If you guys can see that, pretty slimy. And again, it does have lots of olive oil on it, but really not too bad. Okay, well, let's, I don't know. There's like a weird skin on it still, but I don't know. Let's, um, let's try it out. It literally just tastes like, like fish. I mean, it does, it's cooked fish. So there's, oh, ew, it's falling apart. So there's that. So, all right, let's just try it out. Yeah, I mean, honestly, pretty good. It literally just tastes like, it kind of just tastes like tuna. It just tastes like fish. The olive oil adds a little bit of like, I don't know, kind of like a savory taste to it, but really that's actually pretty good. And again, huge source of protein when you're talking about fish and pretty refreshing. Fish is a pretty light meat, pretty light protein. So it's not gonna make you feel like crap, like some weird beef that you would see in some rations sometimes. That could make you feel pretty bad later on. But this is a nice light protein to have. And again, not as weird as I thought it was going to look. So yeah, that is, that is a very nice relief. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to use some of these tissues to wipe off some of this olive oil though. Yeah, you guys can call this tissues or you can call it toilet paper because <laughs> I know with US rations, you try and end up using it more as toilet paper, but with the effect that US rations have on your body, yeah, they're really not useful whatsoever. All right, well, now my hand is super slimy. So there's that. All right, let's test out this strawberry jam real quick. I don't really have anything to put it on. Maybe I should put it on the, uh, the sardines or something. So yeah, let's ch check it out. Again, strawberry can be a hard thing, but it looks like it's strawberries as the primary ingredients. And then you have some fructose, sugar, and then some other weird stuff. So let's try it out. Mmm. Oh, super sweet. Oh, that is very, very sweet, but very, very good. Yeah, it's literally like a, a nice strawberry jam um, but like a little bit more sugar because you can see there's definitely a lot of added sugar, but very very good If you do want like a little bit of energy or you just want like a because sometimes in some rations You have some things that you just pop in your mouth to give like a lot of energy real quick and Just sort of wake you up and this is one of them a little bit too much sugar probably give me like cold sweats with all the sugar and whatnot in here, but Yeah, that's a def that's definitely a nice thing to have especially when you're just like in a foxhole or you're behind a machine gun and you just get bored and you realize you have that in your pocket and you can just down that real quick and that'd be pretty nice. Okay, so before we get to the soup, I'm going to do the muesli, I'm going to make the mixed drink and then I'm just going to make the instant coffee. Hot chocolate, I mean, yeah, I guess I could try that as well but honestly, I'm a huge fan of the coffee and yeah, I don't know, are the French good with coffee? I don't really know. I feel like they have a lot of cafes, but that doesn't really say much. So, all right, Leah, let's try this stuff out.
Okay, so we have the drink set up. I have the, the, the coffee, I just made the coffee, and I just have it black. I didn't add any sugar or anything to it, so I just wanna get the most coffee flavor out of it. And then with this mixed drink or this energy drink, you're supposed to mix it with like 500 milliliters of water. So I did that just to make sure the consistency was good, and then I just poured a little bit out. And then we have the muesli here. Now with the coffee and the hot chocolates, you also have some tea, so that's pretty cool, especially for all those tea lovers out there like myself. I'm not really sure how the French tea is going to be, but I mean, it seems pretty decent. It's called MX3 Adventure. That sounds... Yeah, it's called, it's called MX3 Adventure, which is just kind of too intense for a tea brand name, in my opinion. But we also have, I think it's just a brand name in general, because we also have this instant or this hot chocolate, which is also the, the MX3 Adventure. Very intense name. And then we also have some salt and pepper. So we have two things of salt and pepper, which is awesome. And then we have some sugar, so that's cool. Now, I also, I didn't try the cheese fondue, so I need to be, I need to try this out. I don't know what you eat cheese fondue with. I don't really like cheese in general, so I'm not sure I'm going to like it. But I mean, it does seem pretty, pretty fresh. It smells like cheese. It smells like very shelf stable cheese. So there's that. Again, I'm just not sure. I'm not a huge cheese lover. So I don't know what you'd use this cheese fondue with per se, but I guess we'll have to try it out. Ooh, oh, that looks, that looks kind of gross. Oh man. That's disgusting. Holy cow. Now I've had, I've had sharp cheddar and I've had extra sharp cheddar and that was still less harsh than this. And I don't know why, just it's ex extremely potent. Now, here's a fun story. In the US rations, we have cheese spread, which I mean, it looks like this. So it looks very unappetizing for me at least. Now I've never had that US cheese spread and all the rations and all the US MREs that I've eaten, I've never even tasted that cheese spread. So I've actually had French cheese spread before I had American cheese spread. So there's that. And uh, yeah, now I'm definitely not going to try that US cheese spread. Cause I mean, I don't think it's going to be any better than this. Cause this is in like a can and it seems like a little bit more high quality and I still don't like it very, very harsh. So if you like cheese, there's definitely a cheese flavor here. So you guys will probably like it, but no thanks. Okay, uh, I'm going to clean off the spoon and then we're gonna go back to the muesli and the coffee and the energy drink. And I need to just like, I don't know, I need like, to, I need like a palate cleanser. So let me go do that real quick. All right, so I'm back. Now this muesli has settled pretty nicely if you guys can't see that. So yeah, it smells very chocolatey and seems like it's pretty good consistency. This looks a lot like normal oatmeal. I'm not really sure the, the difference between muesli and oatmeal. I think I made a distinction previously. It's kind of like an in-between of oatmeal and just normal like granola. But uh, this is a little bit more oatmeal consistency. So yeah, let's try it out. I'm not exactly sure. Seems like we just have some oats and some chocolate. So yeah, it seems pretty good. I mean, I don't think it could be any worse than any of the other stuff that I've tried. So yeah, let's try it out. Not a really noticeable flavor, to be honest. Yeah, I like it. I mean, it's pretty smooth. Um, it's nothing overwhelming. It's definitely not like super chocolatey. It's a nice thing to wake up with and sort of ease into the day as opposed to having like a really sugary uh, like breakfast. Because sometimes if you have a really sugary breakfast, it gets a little bit harsh and it just kind of makes you feel like crap towards like midday. So that's not too bad. Now I think this energy drink will be a good way to follow up. So let's try this out. Yeah, not a very strong flavor, which is good. A lot of times with these like mixed drinks or these energy drinks or the isotonic drinks is they're very like granular and very just like they don't mix very well this actually mixed pretty solidly so i mean their measurement was actually pretty good when they actually said the 500 milliliters so this mixed really well there's no like powder or anything settling at the bottom even after it's been sitting here for a little bit so yeah it's good and it's, it's also like really refreshing too that is a great way to wake up in the morning as far as like 
you know, sometimes even apple juice or orange juice could be a little bit too harsh. This is like a really refreshing way to do it. So I like that a lot. That is a really good mixed drink. That's probably one of the best mixed drinks we've had in any of the rations so far, as far as like these isotonic juice drinks or what have you. So that was a good one. Now let's try out this, this coffee. So this was mixed with, I think it was like 14 centiliters, which is a new measurement. Again, we saw the deciliters in the other ration and now we're having centiliters. So yeah, we're getting some pretty exotic measurements, I think. Again, in the US we have weird stuff like fluid ounces. So maybe it's not so exotic to a lot of y'all in, in, in any other country, but I think it's pretty cool to see. So yeah, not a whole lot. I think it was a little bit over four fluid ounces or like half of a cup. Yeah, so yeah, pretty small amounts, but it seems pretty, pretty dense and pretty potent. It smells like a, it smells like an instant coffee, but it smells like a good instant coffee. So let's taste it. Hmm. Very, very smooth and very dark too. Yeah, that's probably the best instant coffee that we've had in any of these rations. Very smooth, very, I mean, it has a coffee taste. Sometimes with instant coffees, it doesn't even taste like coffee. It just tastes like a coffee drink, if that makes any sense. This is like a good coffee. It feels like I literally just brewed this on my countertop and now I took it out. So this is a really solid instant coffee. Very, very smooth, very dark, and I can already feel the caffeine rush starting to affect me. So that is a nice high quality coffee right there. So yeah, we didn't even need the sugar. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of like black coffee, but that is a really good black coffee. I would drink that more than, you know, coffee with cream and sugar. So that is a good one for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna try and assemble this stove right here. See if I can do it. See if I can follow the instructions like a, like a grown adult, but I guess we'll have to see how complicated this actually is. Oh, this is really neat. Dude, look at this. Dude, that is like the cutest little spork I've ever seen. It's like a little folding spork. What do you even use this for? I guess this would be really good for like the, the cheese. Cause I just, I picture like really fancy people like testing cheese with like a little spoon, like what you taste ice cream with. Okay, so that is a cool spork right there. I'm definitely gonna be keeping that one. Okay, all right, let's try and assemble this the stove, I'm already losing the instructions. Okay, so we have to take this metal thing and then fold it. Okay, and then we have this other little metal piece here, which folds down. Okay, so there's that and then this, oh, this is like a, oh, no way, that's so cool. This is like a handle for the, for the tin. Let's try this out. Okay, so here we have our tuna. So this is like a handle for this, so this goes like, it hooks it like this. That's so cool. I don't know, I'm like nerding out here cause I've never had this and we don't have like these little cool stoves like this, but look at this. You can just lift it up and whatnot. Man, that's freaking brilliant, dude. Now this is definitely something I would want to bring hiking with me. Cause I just break this out. I start folding this thing up with these little tablets. I'm just chilling here, making my food. That's so cool. Wow. The ingenuity, man, I swear. Okay, then we have these matches. Oh, let's check out these matches. I'm guessing these are gonna be like the fireless or the, the fireless matches. That wouldn't be a very good match. Okay, so not really the windproof matches. At least it doesn't look like that. But I mean, we have like the Eiffel Tower, pretty cool, very French. And then we have the Arc de Triomphe, I think. So yeah, very, very cool. All right, now let's grab this. Okay, so there's that. And then you just light it on fire. Can I like just blow it out or no? What's this thing? Ooh, a trash bag? That's cool, hell yeah. Protecting the environment, I like it. You could also probably bag and tag some people like the Royal Marines do and stuff. Ooh, that smells weird, okay. All right, let's try this out. Yeah, we got it. We got it lit. All right, little kids, get out of the way. I can. Yeah. Okay. I so can. let's see. Now we can lift the food up, put it down. It only took half the matches to get it working. Oh yeah. 
It's so yeah. cool. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you trying to... You need a spoon for that, not a hairbrush. Yeah, that's really... <laughs> my love! That's my hairbrush! <laughs> what did he just do to it? I think he's trying to eat with the hairbrush. Oh. Ooh, you hear it? <gasps> yeah. Ooh, it's very hot. Let's lift this. Whoa. Oh, it's fire! Yes, it is fire. I can't believe it's fire! Mm. How long will it take? <laughs> Um, I don't know. I mean, it is very cold that side, so we're not really helping the process. But oh, well, Daddy. I think it's okay. Daddy, why does it don't look? It's still flat. <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait. You can't uh, wait. You want to die? You want to die? What? Wait, what? I, I thought we were making food. Well, a mortgage closed and burned on fire. You would die. <gasps> Okay, well, let's keep you right back here. All right, you ready? Here you go. It's delicious. Is it delicious? Oh, sweet. Is it warm? Is it at least warm? All right, we I did a good job. Okay, so yeah, I was going to try the soup out, but I had the cool little handle for the tuna. So, I mean, I had to get the whole experience, you know? And I mean, it definitely worked out really well. I mean, I definitely didn't have to use half the matches to light the fuel tablet, so it worked really, really well. Oh, so the one thing I did forget was these biscuits. I forgot because I, I didn't, when everything fell out, I couldn't put everything back in its original box, but this is the one thing that I missed. So we'll, we'll try these, looks like we have Salt, salted biscuits, cereal biscuits, and chocolate biscuits to try out. So that looks like the salted biscuits. These are the cereal biscuits, yep. And then the chocolate ones. Okay, let's try these out. So these look pretty decent, not gonna lie. So we'll try these out and then wrap up the video. So we'll start with the chocolate because I mean, you can't really go wrong with chocolate biscuits, right? So pretty, pretty dense, but not too dense. Mm, that is really solid. Not too dry, and you definitely, like, with the crackers you get in US rations, if you don't have water nearby, you're not gonna make it through both crackers. So, this is pretty solid. Nice flavor, especially with the chocolate. Not really, like, too strong on the chocolate, but enough chocolate for it to be, like, almost refreshing, so. That's a good one, that's a really good one. Let's try the cereal one. I don't really know what this is going to taste like, so. I think it's just going to be like a less sugary version of the chocolate one, I feel like. So let's try this out. Mm. I know exactly what this tastes like. If you've ever had those very generic classic animal crackers, that's what that tastes like. It's just like straight on. And it reminds me, it reminded me of those animal crackers that I ate when I was a kid. So I'll post a picture right here so you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm not sure if you have those in the countries where y'all are from, but yeah, that is a classic flavor right there. All right, let's try these salted biscuits. So already not a whole lot of salt on it, which is good, which means the salt is going to be in the biscuit itself. Mm. Yeah, that is, um, that's definitely salted biscuits. <laughs> very, very salty, but honestly, those are freaking awesome. And you get, so you get three packages which have two biscuits. That is really, really awesome. Now, the salted biscuits will be great, especially if you have them with like something else. You could probably use that with the cheese spread. That would be really good for a lot of people. The chocolate biscuits by themselves are really good. And then the cereal biscuits, I mean, they're they're also pretty good. They're just like a nice snack to have. So, and then you get a bunch of these. So, really, really legit. Yeah, that's honestly that's a big favorite of mine. Honestly, you can't go wrong with simple biscuits like this. And that was a good way to do it. So, let me wash that salted biscuit down with this real quick. Okay, so I have to say this ration was really good, and it really blew away my expectations. I was you know apprehensive for some of the items, especially like the sardines and. I mean, the cheese, yeah, I'm not a fan of cheese, so I knew I wouldn't like that, but yeah, the sardines, better than I thought, and even the, the other like canned items, a lot better than I thought, so 
yeah, I was very apprehensive and a little bit nervous to try some of the items, but I'm definitely glad I did. I'm glad these ration videos take me out of my comfort zone to try all these foods out because they're a lot better than I, you know, would have would have expected. Especially like the chicken korma, that was a big surprise. That chocolate biscuit and the cereal biscuit, those are just classic flavors. So you're getting like surprises and you're also getting these classic flavors. And yeah, it's just, it's awesome whenever it all works out. But I mean, this was, it's a pretty big box. So I'm guessing this is like a 24 hour sort of ration. But yeah, I mean, it had a lot of really, really good items in here. So, I mean, for a box like this, I mean, you could bring this out. You can really make this last longer than a day, honestly, that would be pretty easy. But overall, yeah, this was awesome to check out. I'm not gonna keep talking. I know this is a long video already. So thank you guys for watching to the end. I do appreciate it. These ration videos are a ton of fun. Again, it's really blowing my expectations with some of these items. And yeah, it's just, it's cool to jump out of my comfort zone every now and again. So thank you guys for supporting these ration videos and forcing me to get out of my comfort zone. And again, thank you to MRE Mountain for sending these rations. I will try and get to those other rations or at least some of the specific items in a follow-up video, but it was cool to do a video dedicated to this one. But yeah, it was, really good. I'm not gonna keep saying really solid or pretty solid because I know I say that a lot and I've probably said a lot in this video already, but this was a, it was just a good ration. Out of 10, I would give it a 7.9. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll give it an eight flat. I'll definitely give it an eight flat. A lot of good items that sort of surprised me. So this was, this was a good ration. But of course, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, especially about some of these items. I mean, we generally tend to like the same items and you guys really forced me to try some of the items that I end up liking, like that chicken korma was a big example. So I do appreciate that. But some of these items that I don't like, a lot of y'all really like, or sometimes I just don't eat them the same way that I'm supposed to, like a lot of y'all. You guys are experts with these rations and you find all the right combinations. So I'm not really experienced with any rations or food in general because I'm a picky guy. But yeah, I mean, it was cool to try these items out regardless. But let me know what you think down in the comment section. If you guys liked the video, feel free to hit the thumbs up. Again, thank you for everyone who has stayed to the end of this video. I know it was a long one, but yeah, it was, it was an adventure and it was an experience for sure. So I hope you guys appreciated this experience with me. But that is it for this video. So I will see y'all in the next one.